Hey everybody, check out how we made this vanity to go around our pedestal sink. You know, in a half bath with those tiny little pedestals that offer no storage. Well, we created a storage system and integrated step stools for our toddler. Here's how we did it. We started out by making all the cuts. Pretty much the whole thing was made from three quarter inch plywood. We used our Craig Adaptive Cutting System for most of these cuts. It's great for ripping down plywood into even lengths and measurements. It's a really nice user-friendly tool that is great for DIY projects. Then we busted out our Craig 720 Pro Pocket Hole Jig. This pocket hole jig is one of their newest from their new collection and it is great for woodworking. It makes it super easy to do repetitive pocket hole plug cuts and is very user-friendly. It's one of our favorite tools and is a great tool to have around the shop. We drilled all of our pocket holes where they needed to go in all of the different places. You can get all of those measurements in our plans. After drilling all the pocket holes, we sanded everything down and got ready to get to work. We started by building the frame, which was just one base piece on two sides. We made a face frame using wood glue and pocket hole screws that will go and support the rest of the structure. This is just where the doors are gonna go and is a nice little addition and makes things look a little bit more finished once we actually get into it. When the face frame was put together, we just attached it to the base. This really shored everything up and made the base stable. We used pocket holes and wood glue to get this in place. With the frame created, it was time to get to the drawers. The drawers were a fun little build. This was two side pieces where we just used wood glue and nails to tack on a top. Once that was in place, we attached a front using the pocket holes that we had drilled previously. We put this together and it was very solid. This is where our toddler's gonna be able to stand. We built two of these so that he can use a step up to get to the sink. Oh boy, here's where things got fun. Now it's time to cut out notches in both the drawers and in our vanity top for where the pedestal sink goes. This was tough to do. The best thing I can say is to mark measurements around the pedestal base and then use cardboard to trace out the best circle you can. Then once you have that done, uh, trace that onto a piece of quarter inch or half inch plywood and then again trace it onto your main piece. The best thing to do is to make sure you have everything in place before doing it on your main piece. That was especially important when we got to this one and a half inch thick butcher block top that I only had one of. In the end, it came out okay and there were no problems. It's gonna fit great thanks to measuring and testing it twice. Once all the notches were cut out in both the drawers, the top and the base, we got to work on staining. We used a whitewash to match the floating shelves and console table that were already in that bathroom. Once that was done, we cut out contact paper to go around the doors of the vanity. I thought this would be a nice little touch this texture is going to mimic a couple other things in our house. This was easy to do, we just cut it to size, and then we actually used one of the hinges that we're gonna be using for the door to make sure it was flush and flat and smooth along the base of the door. This was easy to do, we just worked down and did it for both doors and then tucked it around on the back and tightened it all up. Now that everything was cut, stained, and in place, it's time to add the hardware to the drawers it was simple to just mark the two spots uh, where the drawers actually go. I don't have video of when I actually installed the drawers onto the base, but it was a drawer slide on both sides measured with casters on the bottom. Casters were installed on the bottom so this would roll back and forth and the drawer slides help it go smoothly. Finally, it was time to install this thing. As you can see, we had to kind of hook the top down and underneath the pedestal and then use my knees to push the base underneath it and get it lined up. These were two separate pieces, but we did use pocket hole screws to attach them so it would be more sturdy later. Since it was cut to size for the underside of the pedestal, we had to do that hook up and under. Last thing to do was to add these doors, we used some piano hinges, and push these right into place. Absolutely love how this thing turned out. It looks really nice and fancy, especially for a half bath and a pedestal sink. You can no longer see the pedestal. It looks like this is a built-in piece. Plus, it's super functional for our two-year-old toddler to pull out, step up, and wash his hands. Get more details on this project and the full plans at charlestoncrafted.com.